Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Younghans, and here is my forecast for the week of December 18th to 24th, 2023. At the heart of our Milky Way galaxy lies a supermassive black hole called the galactic center. Our solar system revolves around that galactic core, even as our entire galaxy, along with other nearby galaxies in our local group, also moves through the vastness of intergalactic space drawn toward a massive galactic anomaly known as the Great Attractor. From Earth's perspective, when our Sun reaches 27 degrees of Sagittarius, it aligns its solar energies with the galactic center. During this alignment, which occurs each year in the days leading up to the Capricorn solstice, the Sun highlights the influence of the galactic center and acts as a conduit to more directly channel its energies toward our planet. This year, the Sun is exactly aligned with the galactic center on Monday, December 18th, but the influence of the alignment is strong for at least a day before and a day after that date. We can use a meditative state to more directly and consciously experience the galactic center frequencies. These energies vibrate at a high level and thus may not be readily available to our consciousness when we are in our usual waking beta brainwave state. As we resonate with and open to the galactic center frequencies, we gain access to a download of high-level information and insights. We may want to pose specific questions in this meditation, or we can just enjoy the experience of the energies and ask to receive the information and energy that will best serve our spiritual growth at this time. The Sun enters Capricorn this Thursday, December 21st, 7.27 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This ingress marks the day of the solstice, a time when the sun stands still in the sky. The December solstice has been a day of festival since ancient times. In the Northern Hemisphere, we honor the sacred darkness and celebrate the gradual return of the light. In land south of the equator, we honor the fullness of the light in the sky and celebrate the potentials that have been dormant but are now ready to blossom. Wherever we reside on this beautiful planet Earth, we can use the solstice energies to reflect on the past, but also to renew hope in the future. A change of seasons is upon us once again, reflecting and bringing awareness to the growth cycles of our own individual lives. Here are my brief interpretations of this week's most important planetary aspects. On Monday, Mercury is trying Jupiter. This harmonious aspect between two retrograde planets encourages us to go within to clarify our goals and how we can best create a life of meaning and purpose. And Monday is the day that the Sun is exactly conjunct the galactic center. The Sun highlights and augments the transmission of high-frequency energies and information as it aligns with the galactic center. This download is best received when in a meditative state. On Tuesday, Mercury is sesquiquadrant Uranus. Nervous energy may be heightened today. We may find it hard to focus as our consciousness assimilates the new ideas and insights we are receiving. On Wednesday, Venus is opposite Uranus. The need for space and freedom may arise in relationships, especially if one party is feeling stifled or controlled in any way. This aspect tests the flexibility of a relationship and our ability to allow each person to be and express their own unique self. On Thursday, Mercury is sextile Saturn. It may be easier to think and communicate rationally today, but with Mercury currently retrograde, it may be best to postpone long-term decisions or commitments. Also on Thursday, Mars is quincunx Uranus. Reactivity is heightened and people may act impulsively or in surprising ways. And Thursday is the solstice when the sun enters Capricorn. The sun will journey through disciplined Capricorn from December 21st to January 20th. During these weeks, the focus is on fulfilling longer-term ambitions. We are willing to do the practical work necessary and to postpone immediate gratification in an effort to meet our goals. On Friday, the Sun is conjunct Mercury. Our attention is on serious matters with this alignment in Capricorn. 
but with mercury currently retrograde this influence may best be used for gathering information and reviewing our plans rather than taking action also on friday mars is sesquiquadrate jupiter overconfidence could be a problem today or perhaps trying to fit too many activities into a short span of time this aspect increases excitability and impulsive action and on friday mercury retrogrades into sagittarius we are given the opportunity to review what holds the greatest meaning for us as mercury returns to the sign of the archer the insights we gain through the end of the year until mercury stations direct on january first will be essential to incorporate into our plans for the future there are no major aspects exact on saturday on sunday the sun is sextile saturn patience and compassion are easier to access today this aspect benefits spiritual discipline and our ability to walk or talk also on sunday mars is trying the north node this aspect helps us be true to self and also tolerant of others needs for independence and autonomy if your birthday is this week there is great benefit in introspection this year especially when considering your long-term goals overall you should feel a good balance between realism and optimism however you may also have a sense that certain elements of your life are fading away dissolving or becoming less tangible or important to you certain projects may seem to be on hold while you do your inner spiritual work it is tempting to try to hold on to what is familiar but you are encouraged to surrender to the process and to have faith that once the process of dissolution is complete you will have access to greater levels of personal fulfillment this is astrologer pam young hans wishing you an insightful week thank you for being with me on this journey we hope that you have enjoyed this article for over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.